Jesus believing in faith will come to the public mountain. We must believe Jesus, deny both both actions, or not believe anything. I believe. I believe. I believe. Fred. Uh, Fred, listen to this. Uh, dear Mr. Kringle, I miss you very much, and I hope I will see you soon. I know we will all come out all right. I believe you really are Santa Claus. I hope you are not sad. Yours truly, of Susan Walker. And what's this? P.S. I believe in you too. Of uh, Doris. Well, well, what do you know? Uh, uh, Susan. Uh, Susan, come here, dear. Oh, Mr. Kringle, I believe. Thank you for your letters, Susan. No matter how this hearing ends, I, I know that my efforts have not been in vain. It'll come out all right. I just know it, because I believe in you. <coughs> oh, Fred, Fred, wait till you see this letter. Hold on to your hat, Chris. You ain't seen nothing yet. All right! Do you have any further evidence to submit, Mr. Gage? I have, Your Honor. Against her is the Postal Department. The U.S. Postal Service was first created on July 26, 1776, by the Second Continental Congress. The first Postmaster General was Benjamin Franklin. It is indeed gratifying to know about the United States Postal Service, but I hardly think this has any bearing on the present case. Begging your pardon, Miss Mar, this has a whole lot of bearing on this case. Your Honor, if I may proceed. By all means. I can quote endless details from this volume, verifying that the U.S. Postal Department is an efficiently run governmental organization. Moreover, it was added to the U.S. branch of the federal government only 22 days after the Declaration of Independence was signed. According to its regulations, promotions are based strictly on merit. Furthermore, it's a criminal offense to deliver mail to the incorrect party. Your Honor, the state of New York is second to none in its admiration for the United States Postal Service. Then will the court allow that the U.S. Postal Department be counted as authoritative proof in this case? The state of New York concedes that the Postal Service is an authoritative organization. For the record? Yes, for the record. Anything can get on with this hearing. Then, I'd like to present three pieces of evidence. Let these be labeled Exhibits A, B, and C. Each one of these is a letter addressed Santa Claus USA in childish handwriting. They have been delivered here in this courtroom to Mr. Kringle by the U.S. Postal Service, declaring that an authoritative organization says that Mr. Kringle is the one and only Santa Claus. Three envelopes hardly constitute positive proof, Mr. Gailey. I understand the Postal Service receives thousands of such letters every year. Well, I have further evidence, Your Honor, but I hesitate to produce it. All right, young man. Lie them right here on the bench. But, Your Honor. Young man, I said lie them right here. Yes, we'd all like to see them, I'm sure. Well, very well then.